We have now installed the software and the driver for the USB port and we will now do some initial configuration of the NASA which will include upgrading to the latest and radio calibration and setting what type of vehicle we have so what I'm gonna do is I put on my radio I connect the battery and we need to start the NASA system it will boot up and sign in and it will say that my NASA controller is current software 1.8 and current firmware is 2.01 and the latest firmware is 2.02 so what we are about to do is press OK and I am about to press the upgrade button and we get some release notes so just fire up the firmware upgrade And we've got the dialog box, please power cycle the controller. And let's do that. And simply remove the LiPo from the controller. And replug it. And we get connection. And I have a box saying config error and 3 I'll click and ok we haven't done any radio calibration or something so I'll just skip those errors at the moment I will select motor mixer and earlier we checked that we are about to use the quad rotor X and it's already pre-configured then we will move on to and when we have clicked on TX calibration button, depending on the way we have connected our receiver to the NASA controller, we need to tell the NASA controller what receiver type we are using. If we are using a tradition, DBUS or PPM, I'm going to select tradition since we have connected the cables just like normal in the receiver and then I will start calibration of the radio and you need to move all your controls for Setting all types of calibration. I have 
I just noticed that we need to reverse throttle, so I just press rev, and I will see that the throttle stick is normal. I will test my rudder and I will need to reverse that too okay it's correspond to my sticks we'll need to check the elevator the dive and up and down and we need to check the alero it's the wrong direction so I will just grab that signal okay I think we are just about ready. You can also read in the right part that if T slide is slide is left is craft down, slide right is craft up. It's some strange Chinese translation, but what they actually mean is if the slide is left, you have no power to the engine, and when slide is right, uh, you have maximum power. And for rudder, slide left is nose left, slide right is nose right, so in a more common English that means left if is left and right is right on the rudder channel. I prefer to call this the jaw channel. And we have slider E slide left is craft back slide right is craft front i think what they mean is up or dive so if i put dive it should be up And my controls are reversed because this is up, but it's saying the wrong way, so I rev that channel to normal, which means diving or pitching forward, as I would prefer to call it. I pitch forward ah, I must have been messing up here it's strange Chinese it says slide left is craft back so pulling up And pulling down, okay. And for the later on, slide left is croft left, and slide right is croft right. This is the later on function, it should correspond to how you move your stick on the radio. So, as I can see, all controls are. in the right way so I just press 
finish with calibration and I'll have a check of my control mode switch it says GPS and if I flip it says off or ATTI and at the bottom for manual and I'm used to fly fly this in reverse so I'm gonna change the rev switch in my radio for the aux function and this has manual I'm looking at the control mode switch manual mode at the mode and GPS mode so I'm quite happy with that and then we have fail safe modes so I'm just gonna flip my radio off to see what happens it's in ATTI mode and that's not what I want to be I want to be in fail safe mode so what I need to do is setting the fail safe values for my aux switch setting the control mode switch or uh, fail safe is quite important uh, the correct way to do this is setting so when the leveler is at manual mode it should be blue and for at the mode it should turn blue and for GPS mode it should turn blue and switching off the radio it should stick to the fail safe and turns blue so I'm turning off my radio and we are in fail safe and turning radio back on uh, this could be tricky depending on what type of radio you are using uh, what I have done to successfully achieve this is that I used both treble adjust and sub trim to make all my three points to be perfect and I had to try trial and error to see what point I did get a proper fail safe so now we have setting the receiver type is important calibrate your sticks is important and control mode switch is important calibrating radio is important because we need to have the correct amount of traveling and make sure that they are not reversed or something else and of course it's important to set fail safe because if you're losing your radio contact you want it to fail safe and we now have manual up the GPS and I can turn off my radio in any mode and the NASA controller will go to fail safe and when the receiver is back it's choosing the mode that I have chosen on my switch on the radio and we'll move on what 
the pilot. We are not gonna change anything at this point until we have made our Virgin flight. We'll keep tuning that from when we have it flying. Uh, you could change enhanced fail safe methods. What do you want the Discovery and NASA controller to do when fail safing? Do you just want it to land or go home and landing? At the moment I will pick landing, we are about to test both modes, so you will see what happened. Uh, we have the gimbal set up, I have no gimbal, so at the moment I will leave this one at off. And finally we have the voltage setting. Protection switch is on. I'm running a 4S LiPo, so I will change the value to a 4S LiPo. And all, all the basic stuff is, is pretty, pretty good, so Whenever you have changed anything in the NASA controller, please don't forget to press the right button. Don't just disconnect all the cables. It could be that you haven't saved your settings. So I'm not gonna change anything in mounting. Motor mixer was quad rotor X. We have done the calibration and all our modes, inclusive fail safe. And it's properly working. Autopilot. The only thing I changed was fail safe mode. I have at the moment landing. We will test go home and land. No gimbal setup and make sure you set the correct battery. So that's pretty much about the NASA software and setting up the basic stuff.